I played ranked singles in Scarlet and Violet. To be honest, I just built a team of whatever the fuck. I, I don't know. I don't know. Is there is there really team building in, in, in this format? I don't know. I don't think so, really. Truth be told, I just needed some extra rewards for uh, Regulation D, some bottle caps and whatnot. I don't usually play singles. Personally, I don't think it's that much of a competitive format. And that's ranked, I mean. If you play 6v6, it's a whole different argument. 6v6, I can see that as genuinely competitive. But this whole 6 Pokemon pick 3 system, it's more like pick whatever hits the hardest and just roll with it. I think Dras actually pointed it out, uh, but this system has been the same since Pokemon Stadium. And as far as it being singles, it is very outdated in my opinion. So I'll skip to the battles and uh, talk about my mindset going through these games. I think there's like 3 games or something. So well, first up, we're going up against an Iron Moth, and though Iron Moth is a threat, I go for Sword Stance. The reasoning behind this is <laughs> from what I have gathered from playing singles so far. Because they go for Toxic Spikes. And I just want to point this out as a quick little tip. Stealth Rocks, Toxic Spikes, and Spikes, like, they're useless. They're useless here. If you're playing ranked singles, I strongly advise not running these moves. In 6v6 they're great, but in the 3v3 format you don't get enough out of these moves uh, whatsoever. And the next turn it actually took me a while to understand what happened here. Uh, I moved first because my opponent went for Whirlwind, which always goes last. That's the only move I can find that Iron Moth gets that would go last. So when Fluttermane comes in, I basically just Terra Grass to avoid super effective damage from the Moonblast, but also I noticed that the booster energy was speed, so I know that Fluttermane isn't going to hit hard enough to knock me out in two hits, let alone one. And the last one is King Gambit, which I don't really fear. Uh, Black Glasses, uh, Cowtown Cleave, or whatever would do a lot and maybe knock me out. But even if it does, I have Roaring Moon in the back. In all honesty, my opponent lost on turn 1. Had they just attacked me and not gone for Toxic Spikes and Whirlwind, my Iron Hands would have been forced out or knocked out way earlier. So Annihilate is terrifying here, uh, I go for Sword Stance because I don't want to power up their Rage Fist, but they go for Bulk Up, which is the worst case scenario possible. We continue to go back and forth a few rounds of me trying to do damage and my opponent setting up. And I realize at this point that I am genuinely fucked. With the bulk up boost and leftover recovery, I simply cannot do enough damage to take this thing out and it could potentially one shot me. However, this is where I do something that is kind of weird. I realize that I need to go for a big play and I go for Volt Switch to switch into my Flutterman. The reason why I have Volt Switch and not Hard Switch is because if it goes for Rage Fist, I immediately lose my Flutterman. And if I lose my Flutterman, I've already lost the game. So Fluttermane comes out, and the thing is, I know that this thing is probably Terra Fire. And I know that Rage Fist is coming, but there is a way around that. My Fluttermane is Terra Normal, so instead of going for Moonblast, I use Substitute and I Terra. So 
So, for one, I am immune to Rage Fist, but also I can scout my opponent and make them commit to their Terra. This allows me to safely go for Shadow Ball, and because of the sub, my opponent doesn't get recovery from Drain Punch. And even though Shadow Ball is a pretty comfortable 2-hit KO, they actually switch out their Annihilate. And that makes their Magnus Zone take a Shadow Ball. I send Iron Hands back in because Fluttermane doesn't do enough damage, and they also switch into Dundoso. At first I was completely fine with this, but then they used Yawn. And even though I do a lot of damage with Thunder Punch, it's not enough, and I realized that my opponent could Yawn Trap me. So again, I go for Volt Switch, because 1, it gets me a free switch in into Fluttermane, and 2, it blocks them from Yawning me again. However, instead of attacking, I go for Substitute. The reason why I go for Substitute is because I'm guessing they're gonna hit me with another Yawn. And now I am free to Thunderbolt. And we get a forfeit. Another great thing about substituting this situation is that we don't only get it off for free, but we can knock out Annihilate, and we get a free hit into the Magnus Zone so that we can knock that one out as well. So Fluttermane basically wins the game here. For this last game, I could tell right away that I was facing a stall team, so this game is going to be way too dragged out, so I'll just leave some text uh, on the screen and stuff. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video.